Hey y'all, it's Alexis with Bless Our Littles. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys our bed sharing space. I think that these videos are super helpful just to see how people successfully uh, bed share comfortably. Uh, that was a major thing in the beginning that was difficult. Um, but before I do get into all of our, our whole setup here that we've done, I just want to encourage you to do your own research. Just because I'm doing something doesn't necessarily mean it's safe. I've done a lot of research and I'm going to share all of that with you, but you need to do what's best for you and your family. Just because it works for me or I feel like it's safe doesn't mean it's necessarily safe for you. So I'm not saying, yes, go bed share, it's safe. Um, I think that it can be safe when you are following, oh thank you baby, the uh, Safe Sleep 7, which I will link that below. So anyhow, I want to share just a bit of our journey. So in um, the beginning, actually when I was um, right after I had Emmy, I ended up sleep training because she was struggling with sleep and I didn't know what else to do and I was definitely afraid of bed sharing. And when I had Josie when she, and then she was diagnosed with a um, heart defect, I couldn't let her cry. So at four months old when she wouldn't sleep through the night, I had to bring her in bed with me. And at first I was not doing so safely. I didn't even know how to do so safely. And so after a couple of weeks of realizing, okay, this is going to become a thing, I ended up researching. And after the research, everything in this video is what I felt like was safe for our family. So with that being said, today's video is a collaboration with My Green Mattress. I am so excited to be partnering with them. Actually, a friend of mine recommended them about a year ago, and I heard a lot about them. I love that their mattresses were non-toxic, but uh, truthfully, I didn't, I wasn't ready just to make the purchase without sleeping on it. And so they actually said they would send me one. As long as I liked it, I would create some content, and so here's the content. So with all that being said, I will mention more about that later, but let's get into today's video. So let's first talk about safe bed sharing. What does this look like? So when we look at the safe sleep seven, that is going to mean that you are a non-smoker, that you are sober, unimpaired, you are a breastfeeding mama, your baby is healthy and full term, they're laying on their back, they're lightly dressed, and you both are on a safe surface. And so... I highly, highly recommend heading over to um, the La Leche League. I, for, I forgive me if I did not say that 100% right, <laughs> but head over there and read their entire article. It is so in detail and in depth. It was so helpful. I also have a few other resources on uh, my blog in the blog post. Um, how we set up our co-sleeping space so I will link that below as well so you can head over and check out all of those so the first thing that I became concerned about when I started researching how to bed share safely was our mattress we had a wonderful Tempur-Pedic mattress um, that we thought we really loved and I was co-sleeping on that because truthfully I didn't know any better and once I realized, oh my gosh, we are not doing this safely, I quickly made some changes and then I um, decided that we needed a new mattress. So I actually reached out to My Green Mattress and said to them, you know, hey, would you guys be interested in collaborating? And they were like, absolutely. So they sent me a king size uh, Kiwi mattress and we have been sleeping on it for a little over a month now and I am in love love with it i am so grateful because it's it is firm don't get me wrong so if you are not used to a firm bed at first you're like oh my gosh is my body ever going to adjust and ours adjusted in about two weeks um but it feels safe like laying my daughter on it feels safe i feel so much more comfortable i love that when i pulled it out of uh, the box that it did not stink um it was quite heavy though so when my husband was pushing it up the stairs he was like this is really really heavy so that might be kind of maybe a con to it it's just that it's pretty heavy but um it just it feels like a good quality mattress so yeah so that was the first thing i did was change up our mattress but then i started realizing that you know 
yes, firmness was, you know, an issue. Um, being non-toxic was an issue. So I was like, oh gosh, I need some kind of different bedding. So I ended up getting a cooling mattress cover to ensure that my daughter didn't get too hot. She usually runs hot when she sleeps anyway. So I purchased one of these. Um, this one was really cheap from Target. We really like it. The only thing is it's a little bit crunchy but if you're on a budget like we are you're like I'll do anything for a little bit and it's totally fine um, but it works great it um, keeps the mattress clean so that was another important thing to us so the next thing that we found really helped keep our bed sharing space not only safe but also more comfortable was having sheets that have the little elastic corner straps I didn't get a video of it but they're basically these little straps that help to hold everything in place and I found these super super helpful um, it's helpful to keep um, the little bumper in place which I'll share more about in a minute as well but aside from that we also uh, changed our blanket situation so I got an all-season blanket and that is typically what Josie and I use if I feel like it's a little cool in the room I will add another blanket to her and I um, but my husband primarily uses the um, quilt that is on our bed and is very warm um, but now that she's getting a little bit older there are some nights where it is a little chillier and I've been using the light quilt and it has been great. I say it's a light quilt. This one feels pretty heavy to me, um, but I did like that it was linen. So maybe in your bed sharing space, you'd want to ensure you had a lightweight uh, quilt just because you want them to be able to kick it off easily, especially when they're very little. It's hard for them to do that. Um, but now that Josie's getting older, definitely feel more comfortable um, having, I would say, more blankets. But as I mentioned earlier, she runs really warm. So I still try to keep a limited amount of blankets on the bed. If I get cold, I will maybe put on like a little sweater or something to keep me warm. But aside from that, I try to keep it very simple on our bed. The next thing that I looked for was a low bed frame. This way, God forbid, any of our children ever fell off our bed even if it was Emmy just jumping on the bed it wouldn't be a long fall um, actually for the newborn phase we plan on taking this off when we have more children and putting the mattress right on the floor because that is the safest place to put it so again I'm not saying that a low um, bed frame is the way to go necessarily that it's quote unquote safe right but rather I just kind of wanted to put that in your mind think about you know what feels safe for your family and so for us we felt comfortable doing the low bed frame with an added side bumper which leads me to my next thing having something on the side so baby doesn't roll off even though our bed is a king i still get this feeling like oh my gosh is she gonna fall off and so um there are many different things out there you can get i just happen to like the side bumpers um i'd actually purchase them so that way when josie we still try to transition her into her bed um, for the beginning of the night and so um, she has a floor mattress and so i just didn't want her to roll off the floor mattress i wanted her to kind of feel cozy and so we got two of them came in the pack and actually my oldest she uses one and then i use one on my bed um, and it's just been working out great so this is something you might want to keep in mind but like I said there's many different options out there um, the next thing that we honestly had a hard time with was nightstands instead of having a nightstand put your nursing cart here um, you can get those three tier carts from like Target and those work wonderfully um, I think that when we decide to have another baby I think I'll swap one of these out for that so this way I can have everything right there for the middle of the night it makes things so much easier especially when you're doing you know middle of the night night changes and all of that um, the other thing that I didn't have um, prior to putting our sleep space together is a lamp so I was just using either my phone light or a little it's like this little disc almost what it looks like and it's a little tiny night light and it dims and I love the fact that it dims but I hated that it 
was hard to find. I was constantly looking around for it. And so I wanted a lamp that was dimmable. And so this one, you literally touch it and it goes on and off. And so I really enjoyed that about it. Um, the other thing that I have here that I didn't mention actually in the blog post was just that we added a air purifier to our room. I was getting really stuffy at night and so was my daughter. And so this helped tremendously. I highly recommend this. We live in a rental. They had several dogs before. So I just felt like this kind of helped keep our air clean that we were, you know, breathing in. And the other thing was a fan. If you have an overhead fan, that is awesome. Um, I have read so much about how important it is to keep airflow moving. So we ended up opting for a little fan in the corner. Um, and I just kind of have it blowing away from us cause it blowing on us is really, really cold. But I just wanted to mention this as like something to think about when you're setting up your bed sharing space. So with all that being said, that is pretty much our bed sharing space. Um, I feel like it's pretty simple and my hope was to give you guys some ideas on affordable ways to do this so it wasn't you know, going to cost you an arm and a leg to change to a um, safer you know, sleeping arrangement, um, more comfortable, easier. And I feel like the whole point of doing this is to get more sleep for everybody so that we everybody's happier and we can enjoy this life that we're given right and so um yeah I hope that these tips help I did um I do have four I think five four or five <laughs> other tips over on my blog post so make sure you check that out just so that way you don't miss a single thing about bed sharing but anyway I hope that this video helped and I will see you guys soon